Ouch, pop bones. Who is this? Yo, how do we get a uh, gladiator inside the library? Can anybody explain this? How do we get a little gladiator in here? Did she just sneak in? Gladiators aren't known for stealth. What's up everyone, Michael X here, and welcome back to Kuwari's Magic Library. We're continuing with Special Agent Delphine on stage four. So, yeah, uh, I think she had like a 12 part episode and we was coming to the end of our uh, last journey so I had to cut it short, but we definitely will be finishing on this playthrough. So, I heard Eris talk about you. You're really good in battle, right? Not good, just used to it. I like that, okay. That's a, that's a nice way to put it, I'm used to it. Wow, that is cool, I'll remember that. So I think these are. So I think these are probably going to be like really quick cutscenes too, because I know they're just trying to. So far, this is the story of trying to get her to the uh, library. I, <laughs> I just remembered. I was like, oh man, please don't let me crash into nothing. See, her hat has a habit of flying off. We're refighting the harpy. All right. I know one thing I want to say is that I'm surprised that I am uh, very committed to doing a playthrough, a walk, a playthrough of this game. Cause surely enough, I was about to just like, I man, I wasn't gonna stop, but I was taking my time with the game. But then one guy left a comment. He was like, "Oh man, this game looks really great." He was like, "I, I kind of want to play it for myself." And I was like, "Oh well," I was like, "That felt pretty cool. That felt really good to me." Cause I was like, "I actually influenced somebody to play another game." I mean, I'm pretty, I, I, you know, there's other games I can get people to influence, but my video helped influence another person to play another game, and I was, but that made me really happy. That's why I like to see you guys comment to so let me know like what you guys thought it was funny or a special moment or got the Yeti. A special moment or whatever. I, don't... I mean, I like to see you guys like the video and dislike the video, but I mostly like to see you guys comment to actually let me know like what you guys thought. Hollow plane. How how lock plane? Excuse me. So what are so what are special agents? What do they do? We're a special team that receives battle training. We learn about different tactics and overcome the problems we encounter while looking for Kodax. Wow, I don't know much, but it sounds cool. Well, I mean, how basic could that? <laughs> they just train it to get Kodax. Stella, how is that so difficult? Well, it's not a, <laughs> it's not at all that cool. Yeah, it is. It's super cool. Super cool. How was that so difficult, Stella? She... Crap. She couldn't have said that any more simpler. Well, like librarians who go around trying to help people solve their problems, we're actually going around fighting to uh, acquire the problem. Well, I got acquire, but acquire the codex. The librarians work it out. I mean, librarians are still fighting. We're just fighting cards. These guys actually are more fist of cuffs. Wow, that was that was really short. I was gonna say a cat girl, but then I looked at her head and I was like, I don't think this is a cat. This is like a. I'm not really sure. What is her name? I swear I can't see Grinlin. I don't know man. I see the cat face mouth, but the ears are throwing me off. It, it could be a cat. <laughs> Dang, she, I think she just broke my guard. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what this thing is. It could be a cat. I'm looking at the feet at the bottom. It could be. See you look. 
take him down. Don't forget the thrust! Oh man, I should have did some leveling up. We're not taking these guys down fast enough. I need to change my cars too. Yeah, we're like barely getting past. I mean, that's not the healer. No, she's a defense. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. You work. End it with a thrust. Yes. Thrust. <laughs> oh, I was gonna thrust your pelvis to end things. Good job, everybody. Nice level up. So, like, look at that. We're, 15, we're 14 to 15. You guys are like 16. Student Dorian Gray. Also, I had to turn the music and uh, sound effects down because every time I, I, I was looking through my video and I was like, every time I was trying to read or every time I was trying to talk to the part where they was like running through their track meet, <laughs> where they was running through their track trial, I couldn't hear myself because like the music was overlapping me. So I had to turn it way down. Have you ever risked your life? Yes, happens all the time. Wow. Then have you ever been on the mission where you had to escape from an enemy without help or supplies? Happens all the time. Whoa! No, I said wild last time. <laughs> then have you ever been stranded on an island without any water? Have you ever had to escape from a leaf leaf boat and then gotten swept by a storm and had to survive in the back of a turtle? <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> the last part I think was Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> That's what I think that last part was. Pirates of the Caribbean. It's either Caribbean or Caribbean, but I say Caribbean. <laughs> That's why I laugh. Because I caught that. I caught that. I thought I could jump into the air at the same time. Stop crying. I need, I need fever more. Crap, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I might, two more. There's only one more in front of me. Oh, it's, it's two, okay. Hey, yeah. Fever! Bro, how does the physics of you not catching both at the same time? Crap, oh, okay. Can they fly? I wonder if that's a. I wonder if that's a possibility. Can they fly? Fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. Ah, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, okay. Whoo! Yeah! That was gonna be a drastic. Dastardly, excuse me. I said drastically. And we didn't get a lot of springs points from that. Otehilo? Otehilo. Is that what that is? I mean, apparently, I think she's tilt dude or she's giving blood. I, I don't know what's going on here. This is weird. Mm. Come on. Where next? Yeah. I mean, Captain. No, I'm not Captain. <laughs> Doctor Monroe seems to have like a lot of experience points. I'm so excited that you're being here. The library is, is in a safe hands now that you're here, Delphine. Hey, I'm not that great of a person. Yes, you are. I bet you put an end to that pervert, Doctor Monroe, in, in the nagging Tesla. You're solve, you'll solve the problems. It'll be justice for all. High expectations are not helpful for completing missions. And I kind of understand what you're saying there. Because I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm trying to figure out this. Uh, I'm trying to think of this scenario where I was like really good at something. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good at drawing. So people in my uh, school was like, hold on, let me, <laughs> let me get done with this. And then I'll start walking and talking. You're so cool. Can I call you my sister? Is that okay? Wait, sister? That is. Come on, sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> I have a question, by the way. Huh? Do you drink a lot of milk? No, not really. So, what have you gotten to? So, what have you eaten to? What's the secret? Please share with me. I don't know what you're talking about. Is she talking about her breast or size? You don't. Is that is an agent thing classified? This classified secret? How far is the library from here? We're almost there. We'll be able to meet Mew soon. Mew? Yes. At the library. At the library. She's my supervisor. She's probably waiting for the special agent to come. A 
Okay. Like I was saying, uh, what she was saying with the high expectation, a lot of people in my school didn't know how to draw. I mean, African American community. I mean, only the ones that I really knew that knew how to draw was the ones that were like really into anime. So I knew how to draw, and probably like it was like rare to see guys that knew how to draw. And the people was always like, "Hey, we need we need your help drawing this, or we need your help drawing this, or could you or could you draw this for us?" I ain't too good at it. A lot of high expectations put on you. So it was real. It was it, it was a real handful too. Cause then you had every, you were trying to finish your own work, but everybody kept coming to you because they didn't know how to draw a simple uh, pokeball. <laughs> That's as simple as I can get. <laughs> they didn't know how to draw a pokeball, so they're calling me, and I got to make the perfect circle over there. It was just a lot of expectations, especially when I was in high school. Cause there's like, oh you can draw we need your help not, well, not even just high school middle school too I, and then I just like to just walk away and just be like try at least try I mean this is art class the teacher's not gonna judge you from I mean he's not gonna judge you strictly than he judged me which he did he judged me and like a couple other guys more stricter than he did the other the other people because he was like all right their skills are not where these guys are. Cause I was trying to get to the top set. Let me move. Let me move this. Let me move this. Let me move this. I'm, I didn't mean I'm about to edit this later. I was just, I was just gonna, whatever. All right, good job, Tesla. Keep decreasing her defense. All right, no, I was gonna say she's not ganging up on me, but then she just pulled a 700, so. You know that, that that really works. Oh my gosh! Uh, what is she doing? Hitting us with her legs? That up? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Everybody leveled up. Sphinx. I think I'm gonna look at it. It's like a girl in a costume and she's trying to be a painter. But it's rare. Who knows? I am stronger. What you see ahead of you is the Kawari Magic Library. Hmm, it looks quite old. It is. So let's go in, Duffy. <laughs> oh, alright. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. This girl got a whole movie to herself. <clears throat> Mew, I'm back. Oh, hello, Stella. Stella, not Stella, Stella. <laughs> huh? Who's this? There's a cat on her head. <laughs> I don't know why that. I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> I mean, I knew the cat was up there, but for somebody to actually point it out, I guess that made it just twice as funny. <laughs> You'd be surprised if I tell you. A cat? A cat is on her head? Hmm, you seem el <laughs> elated by some for some reason. Ta-da, she's finally here, our special agent. What, really? The special agent? Hi, I'm Mute, the librarian here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, sorry, I was thinking about something else. I'm a special agent. I am Special Agent Delphine. I have dispatch here from the Central Library. I, I, a bloodless, tearless fighting machine, a special agent. When someone asks, what color is, is your blood? She answers, I don't bleed. I'm a special agent. Whoa, sounds like, sounds kind of awesome. No, uh. Oh, is that right? I'm sorry, I thought if there's anything that bothers you, please let me know. I'll be more careful. Shh, don't look in her eyes, Mew. She'll turn into a charitable size if you look her in the wrong way. Oh, oh, sorry. No, I, wait. <laughs> All right. Stella's been reading some type of whatever. No, not, not whatever. Stella's been reading some type of myth or something about the special agents because she's just throwing everything. What are you doing? 
Pow! Ow, ow, ow. How terrible. You're picking on the guests outside. You're picking on the guests outside. What do you mean? I don't get it. What, what are you doing in front of the bloodless, tearless special agent? See, that's how you're picking on her. You're making her uncomfortable. Bruh, she's nagging at me. I want to live in a world without Tesla. I'm sorry. I'm not a great librarian. No, it's all right. I just, I just want a way to speak. I just want the way I speak. It's just the way I speak. Oh, he, he, I get it. You're shy, aren't you, Delphine? Huh? You're not used to praise, are you? That must be it. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, she's just making it worse. She's just picking on her. <laughs> I mean, she got so confused. Her eyes just started. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. I was trying to say it loud, but crap. It was in my throat, and I was like, uh, well, I'm gonna collect health. Alright, so now we're running in the library. I mean, that's just as better. That's just as good. Just as good. Hey! Hup Crap, I'm probably gonna hit that later. <laughs> I'm probably gonna hit that later so bad. I'm good. I'm good. Ouch, pop bones. Who is this? Yo, how do we get a uh, gladiator inside the library? Can anybody explain this? How do we get a gladiator in here? Did she just sneak in? Gladiators aren't known for stealth. All right. Bruh, Tesla's doing work, man. Bruh, she's hitting 900 out the bat. Oh, God. I'm, I'm gonna need some potions. Oh, gosh. Oh, crap. She is wailing on us. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if her attack damage is, like, way up there. Still bothering me. How the heck did you let a gladiator sneak into the library? I mean, Mew was just letting everybody in. She is too trusting. Eat it, mercy, head, it. Come on, I'm up there. Crap, on the wall with the heel. Alright, y'all take it from there. Wait, let me end it with a thrust. <laughs> no, I want the end it with a thrust. So, my question is, it just came to my head, my question is, what is uh, Delphine's problem? Because I think Mew's problem was like, there's always like a story between these characters. Uh, Stella from a royal family, but no, don't know too much magic. Mew is a new librarian, apparently born in front of this library. I mean, apparently who was, yeah, left with a baby in front of the library. And some other stuff between her. And so I'm trying to figure out what's Delphine's thing, why she has a... Uh, Glow stick pinned up on her hair, but you know, that's another thing. And Stella has a light, Mew has a light bulb. What does Stella have? I keep, I keep putting the T in there. Stella, what does Stella have? I'll focus on the mission now. Where's the library basement? And then she even plays with the bulb. Look at her. Wait, already? You just got here. I'm going to get, get cake and prepare for that welcome party. Oh, she just has a key. She's got like a thumbnail something in her hair then her wannabe cat ears and then she's just got this giant key hanging over her chest you truly are an elite so i'm guessing there's no time to waste even not even for a cup of tea well no but and i thought taking breaks was important i guess only average librarians like us think so wait no that's that's right wait that's right yes that's right, yes. We won't we won't have any time for Kate. Mew, you should have known better. She's a special agent. There's nothing like us. She's nothing like us. She doesn't need a break. I'm sorry, I should have been more considerate. <laughs> oh, okay. So definitely doesn't doesn't know how to speak her mind. Fine then, I'll go throw out the cake. No, I'll eat the cake. <laughs> you will? Just a little bit. It's tea time there. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Did they just switch her over? They should have did they should have been better with that. I thought there was two Mews. We have <laughs> whip. 
Will we have what you brought last time? Not the cake that I made. No, the cake I had made. Cakes you made? You're going to feed that to our guest? Will she not like it? Of course she won't. I don't think your cakes were for humans. You can't give that to a special agent. Are y'all even humans? Aw. No, it's all right. Not, uh, all, anything is fine. When I read her, I'm thinking of like uh, Naoto from Persona 4. Huh? Really? Are special agents poison proof as well? <laughs> In case you get poisoned to death? No. I just never had cake. Huh? Seriously? Really? You never had cake before? I can't believe someone like you even exists. Uh, huh. Kinda like the army base, man. They gotta... They gotta, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Clean and flush out their system so they don't do sweets and junk food. Oh my god! You kidding me? Yeah, it kinda reminds me of their army. Uh, boot camp training. They gotta flush out. They spend like 12 weeks flushing out their systems. Eating healthy. No junk food, no soda. Just granola bars and milk. Granola bars and milk. Oh my god, how? How? Alright, just no fever today. No fever today. No fever today. <laughs> She's making the most weirdest face ever. <laughs> Alright everybody. This one's a little 18. Oh my god, Fred! It keeps going up! It keeps going up! I'm freaking out! Oh bro, just... Alright everybody, just wail on her. Oh my god, just beat her armor off and just, I don't know, slam her to the ground, something! Seismic toss! Oh my god! I'm probably just over-exaggerating. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I am perfectly fine. Defense, defense. Oh man, that is just... Alright. That wasn't too bad. Nice test. Test love leveled up. Gustavo... <laughs> Don't know what I'm supposed to do with a worker. I mean, yes, he helped constructions and stuff. Where next? Nice, I got a lot of codex. And I think this is the last one. Not counting on Delphine's got like a whole story to herself. I mean, she does speak her mind, but she hesitates. And then you got Sella over there just elaborating and throwing her own judgments in there. And how come I just noticed that Mew has a book in her left hand? I, I just now noticed that book. It just blends in with her clothes. I would have never saw that. Then I'll go get the cakes. Please show her around the library while she's gone, Stella. The first cake she tastes is going to be Mew's cake? This is going to be tragic. No, it's not. I'm sure this time the cake will taste good. Watch. I don't really have to go. You don't really have to go get it. Well, she didn't say the it part. You don't really have to go get... She's gone. Hmm. <laughs> he was way too excited. She's going to feed us her cake. Are her cakes any different? Of course they are. She used the weirdest ingredients. Last time she put onions in her roll cakes. Onions? I asked her what she was thinking. She said she thought onions would taste better baked. If you was making chicken. Not just chicken. If you was making meat trying to tenderize but now if you would tenderize you would use honey but that's for fast tenderization just <laughs> sorry my cooking skills came up there <laughs> my cooking skills just just want to show itself in the video oh okay she caught on her toes nice come here Got them cook. Oh, I got. Oh, I was. Where, where am I even looking? I didn't even know I grabbed the codex fragment. I was looking at the fever. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gonna hurt so bad. 
Oh, this is gonna hurt worse than the gladiator. Bro, it might have. Oh, boy. <laughs> I knew that was gonna hurt. <laughs> I tried to even jump it, too. I was like, bro, this is gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> That's just too funny. Uh, Magic Girl, maybe? No, definitely not a Magic Girl. So I'm guessing a knight. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say to assume, a knight. Ouch. Holy crap. Oh, that's right, I got the first damage from that. <laughs> from that hurdle. Ouch. Woo, she's doing a thousand on me. Oh, I gotta make sure I level up before I do the next video. Oh, I gotta make sure I level up. She is doing like 800 to 1,000. And she increased her attack. Yeah, she is murking. Come on, come on, ouch. Come on, come on, I wanna, I wanna thrust her. Thrust of death! Yeah. Well, Dr. Moreau got the last hit, but I still believe my thrust was what won us the victory. Good job, everybody. Bossy. We need names to come from the Dynasty Warriors. Wait, how many how many chapters I said she got? Gee Louise. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry for the wait, here they are. So what's in the cake this time? Ginger. Last time onions didn't work, so I chose something similar. It's weird, super weird. Why ginger? So this is so this is the cake. Delphine, are you gonna eat that? Hmm. So what so how is it, Delphine? Hmm. It's good. It's sweet and sour. It's like a cloud melting in my mouth. I love it. Seriously? This is what cake tastes like. It's good. Oh gosh, Delphine, will you marry me? Huh? Delphine just got proposed to. <laughs> That, I mean, I'm not, I hope you stay here for long, Delphine. I have a lot of cakes here. It must be because it's the first time she had cake. It must be. Try some, Stella. Huh? It's good? Huh? It's good? What happened? Hee <laughs> hee, my recipe is a huge success. Thanks to you. Thank you, Delphine. You made it all work. She must be an oven goddess. No, I didn't really do. But since Delphine's here, we better go down, right? Yes. We better tell Eris. And we better give her some cake too. Eris is the master librarian here, right? Yes, let's go meet her. Eris. <laughs> why did, why? I was gonna say, why did it get quiet? <laughs> I was just, I was just looking around like, why is it so quiet? I was like, what happened? Freak, I don't know. I'm sorry guys, I'm I'm waking up. I'm trying to stay focused. But you know, you waking up early in the morning to do something you love, which is playing video games and recording, so hey, this is a short one too. Yeah, that was short. Cute soup. And did you just sneak one of Mew's cakes? Oh, naughty, naughty, naughty girl. We're very naughty girl. Very naughty girl. Alright. Stolas, Stolas. She kind of looks like, she kind of reminds me of, I get it, everybody's a reference here of somebody. Because she kind of reminds me of, uh, what's her name, Matilda from The Witch and the Hundred Knights? That's who she definitely reminds me of. Just the hair wise, anyway. The rest of it, I don't even know. It's like unique design. Freak! Oh man, she hit me with that, with that good man. Just wailing on her face. Wham! That's how you see, that's how you see the attack is going on her face. Wham! Put that cake down. Uh, well, good thing I did here. I was about to say, um, I could, I should have never healed. She wasn't attacking at all in the first place. But nah, she hit me at the last minute. That would have been game over. Dang, I think Tesla was gonna die. 
war ein bisschen. You always see that. A lot of anime doctors wear like, I don't know what you call it. I guess a long sleeve sweater. It could just be like one huge sweater and it's just a jacket over it. And the sweater stops at their thighs. You see that. Let's go over the general library exploration precautions. Only librarians will go on expl explorations. Mew, Stella, and Delphine can go. No one else can go down there except Zinji. She's been at the library long enough, so we'll count on, count on her. Huh? Where is Zinji anyway? Well, I haven't seen her in a while. I mean, we really haven't. Hmm. I bet she's sleeping somewhere. Anyway, let Delphine take the lead. The other two will follow Delphine's orders. Yes, we will. Delphine, please take care of everyone. Of course, don't worry. I bet she's... Oh, wow, that's the end of that. Thank you. Well, I bet she's never used to... I don't know. I'm still trying to figure the girl out because I see she she's having a hard time speaking her mind. I, but I'm, prob it's, I'm probably guessing that the other two are just so energetic that they're, they're like just running over her. And she can't even get her words out. But I'm probably guessing for the next episode that she just might not be able she might not be uh comfortable with taking orders she might just be like a one man one man soldier and then when it comes to working with other people that's just gonna be like a new chain for her but we will see in the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you in the next episode stay awesome